Hey everyone, it's Eric with HeyEric.com and Black Realty Group, and today I'm doing a market update for March 2023. We're gonna look at year over year numbers, and at the end, we're gonna talk about inflation and what just came out. So March numbers have come out. We're at the beginning of, Feb of April now. So March numbers, we can look at 2023 compared to 2022. And we know that last month in February, there was the first month we saw a year over year price decline. And it was a big controversy. Everyone was talking about it. It wasn't that much of a decline, like a percent, but it's persisted in the median home price along the Wasatch Front for March. So let's talk about it again and talk about what it means. So starting off with total sales for March year over year, those were down about 20%. Last year was about 3,200. This year, 2,586. And looking back over the last six years of data for March sales number along the Wasatch Front, that's the lowest it's ever been. You know, it averages about 3,100 units per month, or excuse me, every March. 3,100 units is the average since 2007 through 2022. So that's six years of data, and this last month we were actually only at 2586, so it's 17% below the average also. What caused that? Obviously, the interest rates that slowed the market a ton. We saw that in February. We saw that all of the last half of last year, and it's, and it's persisting. Um, as I tell sellers, I'm like, if you want to sell your home, you got to get a little creative to help buyers with these interest rates. Um, right now, creative finance is a huge popular topic with subject to um, wraps, all sorts of crazy stuff like this to help move properties. Um, next, back to our median list price. So March over March, that hasn't really changed at all. Median list price along the Wasatch Front was 499000 last year. This year it's 500,000. So median list hasn't changed. Median sold price has though. So last year median sold price was 518,000 in March. This year it was 479,000. So that's down 8%. What causes that? Because on the surface, that number is super concerning. Um, what part of it, what happened is fewer high end luxury homes are moving. That's bringing down that median sold price. First time home buyers are probably still moving. Actually, I know quite a few that are, I'm helping quite a few. But people who have the higher end homes who are moving because interest rates were so low aren't moving anymore. They were moving just for fun. People who move now move out of necessity, not out of just, just because they can because the money is so cheap. So it is concerning that those median prices are down. And as long as rates continue to go up, they'll probably continue to compress. So and that's just the fact of economics right there. Um, Last days on market, days on market last year, obviously March of last year was probably almost the peak of COVID. Um, it might've been April, um, but in March, our days on market were six, super, super low. And we talked about last month in February, our median days on market were 50. Median and days on market have come down drastically for March of 2023 down to 32 days. So it was 50 last month in February, it's 32 this month for March. So that came down a ton. So what does that tell us? That tells us that properties are moving. They're not sitting on the market as much. I've seen that with offers I've been writing, with buyers and sellers I've been representing. Um, I talked to one lender and he said he saw some multiple offers. There's been a few like that. You know, if you price it right, you can still get multiple offers. If you price it wrong, it's probably gonna sit a little bit. So the median days on market, to me, show, tells us more than that decline in median home price, just because there still is competition for home and, and housing here in, in the Wasatch Front and in Utah. We have a great, great market, like I always say. Um, total available sales along the Wasatch Front, 3,900 units. Um, that's pretty typical across the entire state of Utah, 6,366 units. Um, the, available slot supply we have about a month and a half of supply of homes that's still a seller's market technically you know um, even though rates are higher and there's a little bit of fear uncertainty and doubt in the in the in the economy and in the market um, it's still one and a half days of supply and that's that's still re reasonably low our housing stock is still low in utah and that's what is keeping our market sustained you know keeping our market up even though that median home price is down so now let's wrap up with what just came out about inflation. So the Fed just released their report and consumer prices rose by 5% the, for year-over-year -year March numbers, which is down a lot. I think it peaked out last November, December, like eight and a half, something like that, and now we're down to five. 
Obviously last month was crazy with Silicon Valley Bank crashing and a few other banks having issues, kind of that mid-sized bank had a lot of issues. But the Fed, they still decided to raise interest rates 25 basis points. Um, some of the people I listen to, you know, they said they should have either done 50 basis points up or 50 basis points down, but that 25 didn't really do anything. It's still creating that interest rate risk that those banks are dealing with with unrealized losses. Um, so it's good that inflation's coming down. You know, the faster that comes down, the sooner the Fed will stop adjusting rates, or they might even lower them back down to. You know, I see it settling in around the in the fours, to be honest. Um, but just something to note. I personally, I think that the Fed will probably. I hope that they just stop raising raising rates and just let what they've already done play out through the market. We know that they they look at lagging indicators, so some of the stuff hasn't played all the way out. Some of these rates that they've they've enacted months ago haven't played all the way out. So I'd ask that they stop raising rates and just see what happens over the next couple months. Try and keep our economy strong rather than create another recession. So that's all I got for today. Thanks for joining me. If you have questions about real estate, the economy, Utah, feel free to reach out. My number is 801-660-9173 or you can go to hayeric.com for more information. Thanks.